gobbles up his first rebound. Beverly back in the lineup after a concussion in Toronto. Gets right to the rim and lays it in. Welcome back, Pat Beverly. Leonard. Beverly all alone for three. Got it. Now one for four to open up all of his shots outside the paint. George for three, and the Clippers have made their last five shots. They lead by five, 17 to 12. Like, it's amazing to watch that from Lou Williams. He's not just a scorer. He can facilitate for his team. Montrez is a scorer. Oh, soaring over California. Down the lane in town, the hatchet goes. New combo of Lou Williams and Montrez Hero sets a nice brush screen to allow Trez to fly like an eagle. Lou, man, Lou and Trez in the two-man game. Lou draws a crowd, looking for a white shirt. Finds Rodney Magruder inside and lays it in. Lou Williams dribble the basketball. He has his eyes up the entire time to see the entire court. He did have eight turnovers, which was a season high for him. Lou, a guarded three. The toughest shot he's taken online, and he knocks it in. You have active hands with speed. You can get out in transition early for your team. George. Cradles the ball down the lane, down the hatchet goes for Paul George. Words. Uh, come on now, come on, Ryan. Zubats out of the timeout, look out below. Oh. A little bit later with time, but I'm a believer in what Monty Williams is doing. I love Monty, but Ooh. Paul George knocks in the jumper. He's got a team high 12. Bray Jr. gets his first rebound. Throws it away. George gets it back with Oubre to beat and he flushes it in. Right away they're talking and all of a sudden PG say, oh man, I'm going to get you back and put you in the rim and stare him down. It's a sneaker free agent. Leonard bounces to Trez. Look out below. Flushing it in with two. We'll just look at Kawhi. Finding the open man, being unselfish. Mr. Montrez Hero finished. Question will be by how much. Leonard on Carter, he's got the size advantage. Gets into the paint and puts it down. Great patience there by Kawhi. Volleyed around and it goes to Paul George and the Clippers. Here's Zubas. Oh, oh, running the floor! Step on those size 16s and take a ride! You continue to run right down the middle of the paint and you finish with a 40 at the rim. Oubre Jr., he's been a problem tonight. Leans in, misses everything. Eaton with a rebound blocked. How about that defensive possession for the Clippers? Just look at this. Look at Pat. Get the block here on oh, DeAndre. Look at him. He's the scene looking for a white jersey. Down the lane. Swivels away from the iron and lays it in. Just love the old okie doke play of games. And just look at Pat right here on the move. Get the okie doke. Uh-oh. Excuse me. I'm going to score the other way. But back to DeAndre Aiden. Playing extremely hard on the play. You know, you miss 25 games. You want to play with a lot of energy and toughness. As a shield, but doesn't do much with it. Here's George. Into Zoo to the rim with the right hand. Great play by the Clippers. Time out, Phoenix. Finishing with ease right at the rim. Milwaukee, Lakers, and Bucks. Both teams coming off of losses. And they're going to be hungry. Here's Zubat. Oh, 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 oh. Punishing the iron again. Bridges did a pretty good job on Leonard in that game in late October. George gets below the dotted line, puts it up and in, coming in a foul. Tag him down in the paint. And now because Paul George is 6'8 and can elevate right over him, he gave him a little bump to get more space and get the foul on the play for a nice shot. Leonard. Drives on Baines. The feet got tangled up there. Here's George, a corner three. Rips the courts, Clippers by 16. Here is Leonard. From the line to the lane, to the rim, and in, and with a rhyme and a melody. The Clippers lead by 18, counted on a foul. Bob and Weave right through the paint, gets to the lane, and scores with ease. He has so much on the floor. He just makes me excited. I want to get out of, on the court and play. Kawhi for three. Clippers 81, Sun 62. Kaminsky, guarded jumper, blocked by Beverly! Oh my goodness! <laughs> Look at him! The Pat. I mean, Frank Kaminsky is 6'11. Clippers come back from down 28. Lou Williams drives it on the right baseline. 
Gives to Trez, double clutcher, whistle, and a foul. Send that young man to the line for the old-fashioned three-point play. He says Lou, Trez, and Pat Beverly was the emotional engine for the squad. Suns have trailed by 20, 198 times, most in wow. the league. But that's turning around now. Lou, doing banjos, gets a three right back. Potential three for one here. Lou, up and under, the fade, the flick is gone. A 5-0 run for Lou Williams. Patterson, we're still looking for a score in this fourth quarter. Lou for three, ask, and you shall receive. Start to agree with you a little bit on the hmm. Suns' possibility. How about that? Gliding in, Lou Williams with an 8-0 run on his own for the Clippers. I think they're better than the, than the Phoenix Suns. They are as currently constructed for sure. Trez, ho, 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 my, dangling on the rim. And all that said, the last two to three years of his career have been the best. He's the oldest player on the team and, and one of the most important, if not the most important, off the bench. Hey, hey. He understands how to bring out the best in players. And he had that conversation with Montrezl about what he can do for this team. Did you enjoy that video? Make sure to check these out. For more Clippers highlights, access, and original features, subscribe today. I have to say this. Yeah. I can't say this. I'm not using this either. Yeah, can we skip this part and then can we go to something else? <laughs>